Given a circuit with three resistors, we are asked to calculate the equivalent resistance. The textbook would tell us that the equivalent resistance is equal to 1 over 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. In this video, we'll explore where this equation came from. And we'll do so by looking at the current in the circuit. Let's start by adding some instrumentation. So here, we're adding a current meter that will measure the current in R1, another in R2, and another in R3. We'll label those currents as current 1, current 2, and current 3. We know that the total current, which we'll show here by adding yet another amp meter, we know the total current is equal to the sum of the individual currents. So I total is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3. Let's not forget that the total current, as shown in the circuit on the right, is the same as that from the original circuit. With the help of Ohm's law, we can show that current 1 is equal to the voltage, shown here in red, divided by resistor 1. Likewise, we can show that I2 is equal to the voltage divided by R2, and resistance 3 is the voltage divided by R3. Once again, using Ohm's law, we can show that the resistance is equal to the voltage divided by the current. We're going to do some color changes here, so let's take the voltage and we'll show it in red. And we see that the voltage for both the left and right circuits is equal to V. The current, well that's just the total current, we'll show that in purple. And R is R equivalent. Now if we put these together we can show that the equivalent resistance is equal to the voltage divided by the total current. Rather than writing total current, we're going to substitute in the values we calculated before. So V over R1 plus V over R2 plus V over R3. We can now simplify this by multiplying both the numerator and denominator by 1 over V, which gives us 1 over 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3, which is our original equation.